Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what we're going to talk about are uh, double barrels in parallel. Now a lot of people know about double barrels and they're usually in serial, which means that one works and when it runs out of gas the other one picks up and so you have a larger or a longer uh, charge, a longer power reserve in your watch. They're also used with the Maltese, uh, I don't know what they call it, Maltese cross uh, stop work on it. And that's because the what it does, it uses just a stable center of the, of the spring. And so it shortens the power reserve. And so sometimes I'll use double barrels for that. And the thing about that is, is that uh, there's another, there's a function for a d double barrel for maintaining constant force. Constant force is also maintained by double barrels in parallel. And what they do, they are both working at the same time to take the workload off of any single barrel. So with two of them working at the same time, you have a, a, a more stable uh, kind of constant force. You can see on the picture there are those two red pinion gears uh, and then there's a, I sort of, sort of have a blew it up. Uh, you can see how they both work on the pinion gears and then they, both of them uh, go to that center pinion gear and that's the center uh, wheel that it turns and goes down the, uh, the wheel train down to the escapement. Uh, this watch, I just love this uh, movement. Uh, it's a McGonagall Tuscar Caliber MG G01. They're, these these things are probably a hundred thousand bucks. They're they're wonderful watches, but they're just way too expensive. Um, this one also has it's a manual wind. I think all of them are manual wind when you have a, a double barrel in parallel. Uh, second of all, uh, they run at the eighteen thousand. Uh, uh, semi-oscillations per hour instead of up to, you know, the higher ones, 28.8 or something like that. Two and a half hertz. One of the other things about that I really like is a balance uh, diameter of 12.8 millimeters. That's a large diameter uh, balance. And the reason for that I like large balances is that they're more stable. And um, you also need a slower frequency because the semi-oscillations take uh, longer. So he goes around and come back. And so you have that. The good thing about this lower frequency is that this also extends the uh, power reserve on it. And it has a, another thing. It has a gold um, escapement. And the reason for that is you can do it without any lubrication if it's in gold. So it's sort of a, it's a cool thing. But remember now, the purpose of dual barrels in parallel is so that they have a smoother power uh, and where you have less of a wear out, you'll say. In other words, where the string starts pooping out uh, with double barrels, you have less of that. And so you have constant force. Let's take a look at some watches that have that. The first one is the uh, Zaza Lacoutre Duometre. Uh, Quantium Lunaire. I believe all of them, all of the models of the um, uh, dual metric. Dual metric, I think, is for dual wings. They have it and they have, each, they have the dual barrels. And I believe, in fact, they even have uh, two movements, but they're moving the same center wheel. I'm not quite sure how this one's done. Probably the best watch that uh, Zazer Lecoutre makes. It is, in my opinion, anyway, but they run about my new ones around you know, forty between forty and fifty thousand bucks. They're really expensive. I saw some used ones in the twenties. So, you know, if you're interested in getting your hands on a uh a, a dual barrel and parallel, uh that's a that's not necessarily an affordable choice, but it's a less expensive one. This used to be a a pretty <laughs> well twenty thousand dollars, but the FP Jorn Chronomet Surveying, those things have taken off and gone to the moon in price. It's a shame. I have one from when they weren't quite as crazy. This was, I got this one pre-owned and it has uh, the double barrels in parallel too. Um, 
it has a lot lower load. I mean, basically, it's uh, the time and the power reserve indicator. And uh, it does fine. But it, one of the things, at least my watch does, it seems to get, when it's not getting mag magnetized, <laughs> it's great. Uh, it keeps very good time, too. Now, the final one, uh, this is a Schwartz ETN Roma manufacturer small second manufacturer. This is one of their own movements. The MSC 100.00 caliber, sort of an interesting caliber in this regard. This sort of uses the same base plate for their automatic. And all they do is they take out one of the dual barrels, put in a micro rotor, and that's for automatic. And that's called the ASC 100. So the MSC is for mechanical. A is for automatic on that, but this is one of their double barrels. And if you look around, uh, the particular one's in gold, and that's pretty expensive, but they do have stainless steel models, uh, and these are these are not anywhere near as expensive. I found one for around, I think around five, five, six thousand dollars $6,000, something like that. It was, I don't know, if it may it may not be pre-owned, but, uh, but it's a, if you're interested in that, and this is, to me, the thing I like about it is that the uh, when you look at the uh, uh, the balance wheel at the top, it's got the balance cock, which is this little sort of bridge, and then you have three finger bridges after that for the uh, wheels in the, in the wheel train. This is a cool watch. I, I'm very tempted to get one myself. Well, anyway, that's double barrels in parallel. And um, I'd like to get your opinion on it. Let you let me know what you think. And if, if you have one, I'd love to hear uh, what your experiences uh, with them have been. Mine have been great. This watch is one of my very favorite. So until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Society, the art and science of watch collection. And this is an opportunity to subscribe if you'd like.